I know there are, there are a lot of different things you can do on a Saturday night. So, uh, like, rather than go see a band from Laval, French. So, thank you so much for spending this evening with us. Really, it a lot to us. I think we, uh, we all had our shares of uh, depressing moments lately. We haven't been able to do that for two and a half years. And uh, it brings a lot of questions, a lot of pains too. And uh, it feels amazing to be back on stage and being able to meet new people, being able to tour with new people. Uh, I'm obviously thinking about the, the Guru Guru that we have been the chance to play with for three days. Uh, a big thank you for them for being here. Really. Thank you for the music. Uh, In all of this, like, obviously COVID happened and everything was bullshit, I know that, but in all of this, there was also a lot more violences uh, coming from social tensions and everything. And uh, in France, we have a tendency of being pissed all the time and going in the street prote protesting every time we're pissed, so, which is pretty quite often. <laughs> and, uh, and usually, you know, it goes with like usual bullshit, you know, we, you go in the street and you feel like nothing happens, but you're here. Uh, but for the, like, the last like couple of years, maybe five years even, uh, you could see a very different response from, from the government and a very scary response where like, like fucking police who are shooting at people in the street for protesting, you know? It's like some people lost their hands, they lost their eyes, they lost their faith into like a better future, just like I did. And, uh, and it was very, very, very violent and very hard to see. Uh, when you're in like in a democracy, you don't expect like the police shooting at people for just not agreeing with the government. Like no one agrees with the government. Come on, <laughs> I mean, and uh, and this violence, these emotions, really made me lose hope in the better future. It was really hard to uh, imagine that something better was was going on ahead. You know the the word after and all that bullshit. And uh, and I was just you know scrolling on my Instagram or whatever. And there were, I could see like many, many pictures of people still fighting in the streets. And, and somehow it just made me feel like, okay, there is still hope, there is still something. Some people still believe it's, it's worth like holding the torch for everyone. So if you are part of those people, if you still go in the street fighting for yourself and for other people, if you work for other people in hospitals, like, like social working or anything like that, I, I have just admiration for you and, and Thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you.